It was a long tough season last year for the Minster Bells, and in the late goings, their place in the league was under threat. Heroics at Bradford City on the final day ensured their survival and, over the summer, the bond between the talented group of players had only grown stronger. Intrepid 322 sport reporter Jay Haystacks, a man with all the warm demeanor of an igloo and a face only a mother could love, was overjoyed to read the retention list for the upcoming Minster Bells season. The Bells had kept what Haystacks believes is the beginnings of a great team together. He waffled on for six or seven minutes about the key names on the retained list, but we'll spare you all that and give you a brief highlight. I'm really happy that we kept Becky Sidwell. Uh, she's a good, brave goalkeeper. I've seen her dive for the ball at times when there's been four sets of boots coming at her rapidly. Uh, I'm really happy that we kept Emily Cattle and Jess Holder, who on a game, she'll turn teams inside out. Uh, and obviously, absolutely buzzing that we retained Nikki Brown, our captain, who like a captain should be, is the heart of the team. So on Sunday, 16th of July, 2023, Haystacks and long-suffering buddy Tommy Metz made their way to Haxby Road to watch the Minster Bells' first home friendly of preseason. Uh, here we are, we're back at Haxby Road for the first time of the new season. It's the second friendly for York ladies this year. First one at home. Uh, they won 4-0 against Bradford the other week. Uh, last week I believe but we're back here at St. John and as ever you can probably see in the background behind me as soon as me and Tommy set foot on Haxby Road the weather turns it looks like it's going to be another moody one but we're looking forward to a good game bunch of new players here uh, a lot of old faces just can't wait to see the bells in action again talk to you at half time The first half started brightly with the Bells on the front foot, pressing Hull United back from kickoff. Captain Nicky Brown was in dominant form as usual in the midfield, constantly pressuring the opposition. City passed well and in the first 15 minutes opened the defense three times with slick passing only to be let down by the final ball or finish. The deadlock surprisingly held until the last 15 minutes of the first half. But as soon as the first crack appeared in the Hull United defense, their temperament changed and they had an air of resignation. With the keen eye of hardened competitors, our warrior women of York noted their opponent's deflation. Before halftime, they'd hammer the ball in the net three more times to send the boss staff in happy. So it's half time here at Haxby Road. Uh, brilliant performance by Minster Bell so far. Total domination. Uh, good performances all round, really. We've got a new player, Ella Gerald, I believe her name is, number seven. What a start to the game. Absolutely tenacious. Twisting and turning. She reminded me of uh, Janino back in the day for Middlesbrough. That type of player, low centre of gravity, amazing balance, good ball control. Anyway, we believe that we're 4 or 5 nil up. A uh, little bit of confusion as to whether it's 4 or 5, but it's been a great performance. I'll see you up full time. Business resumed almost immediately for the Minster Bells, and they attacked from the start of the second half. They passed the ball well and moved well off it, showing so many moments of great vision to thread balls through for each other to run onto. It was entertaining football, and the small gathering of the faithful were treated to a firework display of finishing in the second half. Around 70 minutes and trailing by nine goals already, the defeated and crestfallen Hull United keeper succumbed to injury and was replaced. But still our Warriors showed no mercy and would breach the opposition defense again and again to equally gut her replacement.
This was a friendly folks, but a landslide is a landslide, and they always stink. Hull United would go home humbled, but Haystacks and Tommy would leave full of hope for the upcoming season. I'm not going to represent you what the final score was. Uh, I sort of lost count around eight. The guy stood next to me, told me it was nine, and then I think we proceeded to put three more goals in after that. So I think we won around about 12-0, uh, but I'll double check on Twitter before I post the video and I'll stick the actual score up as I'm talking, so check the corner there. Should be right where my finger is. Uh, brilliant performance today. The teams obviously bonded a lot with that long retained list. The teams bonded a lot over the summer. They're just clicking with each other, working for each other. Too many brilliant performances really to uh, go on about individuals, but I will just give one special mention to uh, number seven. She's a new player for us. I mentioned her at half time, Ella, number seven. Absolutely amazing. Uh, but just brilliant performances all round. I am buzzing for the new season. Two York City teams, two promotions, anything less is failure. Let's have it. Stay safe, folks. Keep it York City FC and keep it 3 2 2. Come on, City. We're walking in an ugly wonderland. We're walking, We're walking in an ugly wonderland. wonderland.